Welcome to this session on using a sketch layout. In this session, we're going to set up a file for the layout of the sales areas in the ground floor grocery store or food market. And so the first thing we're going to do is take a sketch that has been done showing the basic arrangement of spaces, and we're going to attach that to our file as an underlay before we begin to lay out the spaces. So I'm going to start, I'm in the same workspace, Building Examples, and the Workset Multi-Use Retail Building US, or you may be using Multi-Use Retail Building NM for neutral metric. And I'm going to start by creating a new file, and I'm going to call this file a underbar grocery layout. And we'll save that. And then I'm going to attach to this file the architectural shell of the grocery store as well as the structural framing. So I'm again going to go up to my references, pull down and select attach reference. And in my designs folder, there is an A grocery file as well as the S grocery framing going to use my control key and select both of those and then attach coincident and we'll go ahead and select open and those two references are attached right, to change the display style just so we can see it a little bit better I'm also going to change my floor selector to the ground floor that'll turn on the grid set my ACS plane at the ground floor and I can also use this isolate active floor tool so it'll isolate or display only the elements that are actually on the floor. And that will get rid of some of that framing for the next floor above. And now the next step will be to attach the sketch that we have. So for that, I'm again going to go to the reference pull down, but I'm going to open the raster manager. And I'm going to select the attach raster image and you should find a PNG file in the design folder named market sketch PNG notice there's options here we have checked off place interactively but we will open the settings dialog so we're going to let it place at the zero zero origin and then we're going to to move and scale it to fit the building i'm also going to turn off the open settings dialog there's really not any settings i need to to adjust and then this is just going to attach coincident at our zero zero origin and we will then move and and scale it to fit the model i'm going to go ahead and say open we can see it there in our dialog and you can see down there at the zero zero origin it's highlighting it's fairly small right now. Let me just drag this out of the way. I'm going to rotate this into a top view so we can see it here. And then zoom in. And as I zoom in there, a little hard to see because it's under the column. So let's go ahead and go back to a wireframe, white background. And there we can see this sketch. Fairly small, but we're going to scale that up. And we can, if we kind of zoom in there, you can see this is the, the outline of the building and the sketch was done on top of that. So I'm going to first move it. I'm going to align this corner of the building with, of course, the corner of the model. So we'll come into our icons here and I'm going to select move and I'll just select my first point as that intersection there. It'll allow me to move the image. And I'm going to just line that up with the corner of my building here. Next, I'm going to scale this. So I'm going to use the scale icon and I'm going to do a three point scale and keep it proportional. So then I can just follow my prompts. I want the point to scale about. So that would be the point that I don't want to move. So that would be this point here. 
and then a reference point. So that's going to be my opposite corner here. Now I can, you can see how I'm moving that, and I'm just going to snap to the other corner of the building. And now you can see we've got sort of this bubble diagram that's telling us more or less where the different sales areas need to be. And that will help us with our, our placement as we begin to place those spaces. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.